I don't want to play baseball t for two days in a row, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to bring back uh, the Mario Kart Wii series again and continue on here. So, I'll begin the Wii wheel set up, ramp free. We got to finish the last cup in 50cc. I don't really remember what we did last time, but... Yeah, I gotta put that in. Uh, I don't know who I want to play as, though. That's the thing. Like... Thinking... Thinking maybe I'll go as Toad. What is the best... I think I'll go with uh, the Mini Beast. So yeah, we still have to do the Lightning Cup here in in 50cc, which we have not done. For some reason. So hopefully this goes well. One, and boogity boogity boogity, let's go racing! And we're already off to a rocky start, but we'll work our way back up. Wow, big jump to the lead. There I got. I cannot sound like Toad. Like, it just sounds terrible. I'm not even gonna try. All right, well, I'll have the lead after one lap. I should have held that. There's some people that haven't even finished their first lap. Now Wario does. Did the, did the little shake with my uh, Wii wheel to avoid that. Oh, I should have held that. Another prime example of why you should hold on to your shit. Ooh, Birdo could not catch me there. like uh, someone finally hit something there that I put down. Oh! Got a pretty big lead here, I would say, over Luigi. Yeah, they ain't gonna catch me. Thankfully, I held on to that. Alright, we'll take the victory. I win! And that's already actions hypocritical on my behalf. Saying I was not gonna try doing Toad's voice, and I did it. Alright, and on to Peach Gardens. The irony is that we have a Mario statue at the start of the stage, yet this track is named for Peach. I and mean, I know it's not a big deal, just something to point out. Ooh. They tried getting me at the, at the roundabout there. Just... Start singing the Yes song, but I don't want to risk the you know what. Oh! I took it too tight there. May as well drop that there. Oh I I thought I I thought I could 
probably jumping off of it there. That did not quite work out. What? I could see inside the fake item box there. Even though they're right on my tail, I still have the lead, despite that. Lap two. Who would even bother taking the long way around? Like, I'm genuinely curious as to who would want to take that route. I, I messed up and fumbled trying to take uh, items there. Alright, let's not fumble this here. I didn't that time, but that happens. Gotta pick up the speed again and not hit that either. Got three of these now. This should help. Final lap. I'm just gonna hold on to these, I think. Alright, fake item box. I got a decent sized lead gonna actually do this instead here. Faster uh, runoff. Faster run leaving the corner. I'll let the chain chop eat that. Might have been a risky move there to do that. It looks like uh, someone hit my stuff. Big risk I took there. Hopefully he doesn't have triple uh, shells. He doesn't. It'd be baby Mario I'm talking about. We'll still win by a pretty handy lead. I'm the winner! Once again, action's hypocritical. We are halfway through now. DK Mountain, which this track just came back as part of Wave 6, so I'm, I'm pretty happy to see that come back. And we're off. Love how you can still even do the half-pipe tricks in the Booster Course Pass version. I may as well just drop that now, hope someone hits it. And away we go. Why would I have a red shell in first place? That's something I'm curious about. Oh, uh, why did I throw that forward? I meant to throw it backwards. It's not... It's not worth the risk to do the tricks. We got a pretty decent sized lead here as we get onto the bridge. And I messed up there. I wanted, I tried to do the trick and I did it too late. Still got a pretty big lead. Watch out for that. I'm gonna throw that backwards. Hopefully that gets someone. Also dodged a blooper there. Pretty far back. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got a pretty big lead here. Final out. I can throw that back. And that, I guess, wouldn't make a difference. Except that everyone is still very far behind. I thankfully did not hit my own banana there. If this was seven, if this was like ten laps, I probably could lap the field. Look at how far back they all are. And they finally made it to the cannon. Oh! And I hit, and I hit a boulder. Or something. In that nature. No, I didn't mean to do that. I probably don't even need anything, really, considering this is the final straight. Yep, there we go. Well, the finish line was maybe a few hundred feet. Ahead of that, I probably would have needed something. Alright. One race to go. N64, Bowser Castle. Surprisingly, they brought back one of the, the SNES Bowser Castles. Oh, I almost hit my own, I almost hit my own thing there. I had a rough start there. Oh! I got very risky there. Yeah, hold on to that. Explosion in the back. Hold, yeah, we'll hold on to this for now. Somehow, there's a few that are actually keeping up with me right now. Like, Luigi and Birdo are literally right behind me somehow. I don't know how, but they are. No! I meant to throw that back at them. Oh, they're right behind me? How the fuck are they right behind me? This is... Hey! So you know what? That that actually helps. That actually saves me. When you think of it. That actually saves me. But Luigi is still, like, right behind me. I hit Baby Mario instead, I think. There. Of course you dropped there. is still very spread out. Got an extra mushroom there I could take, I guess. I honestly don't think I'm going to get three stars just because I lost uh, a lot of ground. The field is really spread out. Look at how far back Donkey Kong is, for example. Luigi there. Alright, final lap. Look at how far back some of these people are. Over there in that cage is the flop that 
bunch of conspiracy theorists think you could unlock in Mario Kart 64, like Marty the Thwomp? Is that what his name is? Something like that, and a bunch of conspiracy theorists think that you can unlock him in Mario Kart 64 by doing some very weird things in uh, Mario Kart 64 on this track. More scraps I'll take. Another, how many lightning strikes have there been this race? Three? Four? I can't keep track. Alright. They're all too far back to catch me. And it's over. To the impersonation. I held myself there. Alright, well, we got a full, we got a perfect 60 there. First place. We did get three stars, to my surprise. So, what do we unlock? Well, we have that, but... Wait, can I even skip it? I don't- I can't even skip it, I don't think. Can I? I guess we gotta watch uh, the credits here roll. Just because we did that. No, don't do that. But I mean... I guess, uh... I guess it does give me another, uh, watch through down memory lane, cause... Cause the credits here are actually pretty emotional, to be honest. Considering that this is literally my childhood game. One of them. Wait, I didn't realize that Seattle Mariners legend Ichiro Suzuki, uh, was worked on this game. I saw his name there. And the statue's me. What a beautiful sight to see. What a beautiful sight to see. Are they gonna let me skip these credits? I guess not. So I guess I'm stuck watching all the credits here, so... Oh well. But I mean... As I said, does give you a run through down memory lane once again, just seeing what this game has really made out of me. I mean, it's it's made me into a big streamer like this. I mean, who knows what I'd be doing? Who knows uh, what would I even be a streamer without the Wii itself? Like, who knows? I probably would not be. And this is- this just happens to be the game that shaped me into- This just happens to be one of those games that shaped me into it. Like, when you think about it, uh, I mean, this is- I mean, this is, uh, and I mean, these are the games we all- that a lot of you guys, I know, grew up, uh, with, too. Uh, I grew up uh, heavily with this, Wii Sports, that's one I grew up with heavily. Uh, trying to think of some of the other ones I grew up with heavily. Wii Fit, I know that one was 
that was a childhood one that I played a lot. I think actually Mario and Sonic at the uh, Olympic uh, at the 2008 uh, games. That was one that I grew up with a lot. Uh, Wipeout on the Wii, believe it or not. That was actually one I grew up with. Cars the vi Cars the video, or at least Cars the video game. And hats off to you, Mr. Iwata. Nintendo ain't the same without you, Mr. Iwata. Yeah, most of the Cars video games I grew up with. A few LEGO Star Wars games. A few of those I grew up with. I could go on a... I could go on a, uh, on a tear on how many games I grew up playing. Okay, so that's what we unlocked. Diddy Kong. Yeehaw! And we got a cheap charger. Did we get any... Oh, we can now play 50cc... Uh, Grand Prix, uh, carts and bikes, so you now can- so we now can play 50cc with carts and bikes. Alright, so that's everything we, uh, unlocked. Uh, I just want to see if that actually does let you play 50cc with carts and bikes. It does say... Okay, yes! You can, but uh, I think I'm done for uh, for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure that you guys subscribe if you haven't. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Share my channel with your friends. Find me on other social media platforms. You can sponsor the channel for as little as just only a dollar a month, or even donate to the channel possible, and find any other way to support us here possible. I'm Sir Elkinstein signing off for this video, and have a great rest of your day. Bye.